Previously, I showed how to mix chalk dust into oil paint, and I'm going to show how I mix fumed silica into oil paint. Fumed silica is just a form of ground up sand with a heat treatment. And so you can see I've dropped a little bit of linseed oil onto my palette, and I'm using my palette knife to scrape it together and mix it together with the fumed silica. And it takes a little bit of fiddling to start to get it to turn into um, a gel. But you'll see once I start mixing it, it starts to turn into basically a clear gel. And it has more body than oil paint, meaning it will stand up and pile up more. And it also spreads really thin. So in a minute, I'll mix it into some paint and you can see how it behaves with the paint. But as you can see here, I just continue to mix gently. It's a little bit tricky to get it to all incorporate together, but soon it starts to turn into this nice clear gel. It's sort of a soft, um, flexible, malleable, spreadable gel. And now I'm gonna mix a little bit of ultramarine blue with it so you can see how thin and transparent it makes the ultramarine blue. So this is a really beautiful mixture to use for glazes. You can see if I spread out the original paint directly from the tube, it's, it's fairly opaque. It's a transparent pigment, but the vehicle makes it pretty opaque. Mixing in the fumed silica makes it almost look like stained glass. You can spread it really, really thin and it just looks really, really um, like a really beautiful, lovely glaze. This is how it looks in a lighter pigment. This is Indian yellow. You can still make a nice transparent glaze, but mostly it's to be used with darker colors. I tend to use my fumed silica with darker colors and I use chalk dust with the lighter colors. And the reason for that is I want darker colors to be really smooth and stay back in the background and I want my lighter colors to pop forward off the painting so it's almost like painting in 3D where lights are emerging out of the darkness and this is a really traditional way to think about paint and think about painting in terms of historical methods for painting where essentially you want to keep your lights very opaque and you want to keep your darks very transparent. You can see it's a little bit messy. Um, it, the fume silica especially is very airy and powdery. You have to be careful not to breathe it because it can be dangerous to breathe. Um, and because that, it's a little bit tricky to mix it in. It's a little bit more difficult than the chalk dust and that's pretty messy as well. So here I'm just showing you side by side comparison of two similar colors. In both this video and the last video, I mixed white, a lot of white, into my, into my Indian yellow. So it makes the Indian yellow look much lighter, but those aren't the mediums making it look.